Uh, one of my friends came over and he said, hey, my girlfriend's pregnant. And I said, oh, damn, okay, sorry. Next day, or congratulations, I don't know. Next day, I saw him again, and I said, what happened to your pregnant girlfriend? And he goes, oh, don't worry, it was a false alarm. False alarm is when you think something bad has happened, but actually, it turns out to be fake. It's not true. So you can think of false alarm as, you know on the wall, there's a red thing. You pull the red thing when you see a fire. This is called an alarm. Uh -huh. However, sometimes people pull it as a prank, as a joke. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's a false alarm. You think there's a fire, but there's no fire. It's a fake thing. Okay, Peter, any final word? Yeah, I notice uh, some people use fake news when they want to say false alarm. Uh, fake news is kind of a buzzword these days, but you should know that it has a strong political association, mostly with Donald Trump. So if you're talking about something bad in your personal life, and then, oh no, nothing bad, you should not say fake news, just say false alarm. It, has, it, it does not have the political connotation that fake news does, all right? So, false alarm. English! 자, 여러분들, 오늘 표현 한번 알아보도록 하죠. 오늘 제가 준비한 표현은 바로 뭐냐면, false alarm이라는 표현입니다. false alarm 같은 경우는 false라는 것 거짓이잖아요. alarm이라는 것은 상대방을 약간 이렇게 놀리는 느낌이죠. 놀래키는? 아, 놀래키는 느낌이죠. 그래서 우리가 보통 알람이라는 거 있잖아요. 그쵸? 보통 아침에 일어나면 알람이 어때요? 우리를 깜짝깜짝 놀래키잖아요. 그래서 우리는 일어나는 거죠. 그래서 false alarm이라는 것은 거짓된 알람. 쉽게 말하면, 어? 이거 뭐야? 이거 큰일 나는 거 아니야? 어? 너 임신했어? 어? 그런데 나중에 알고 보니까 어때요? 걔가 거짓말한 거예요. 프랭크라고 하는 거야. 이거 같은 것을 false alarm이라고 하겠죠. 하나만 더. 예를 들어 보면요. 그 피로가 말을 했다시피 그 보면 빨간색이라고 벽에 있잖아요. 빨간색 같은 거 있잖아요. 빨간색. 그걸 딱 뇌, 내리면 그럼 어때요? 화재 경보 같은 게 울리잖아요. 그렇죠? 근데 그게 어때요? 실제로 불이 안 났는데 이걸 내린 거잖아요. 그럼 어때요? 폴스 알람이 되는 것이죠. 알겠죠? 자, 그리고 하나만 더 알고 넘어가시면 페이크 뉴스라는 말이 있습니다. 이 페이크 뉴스 같은 경우는 어, 정치에서 이제 많이 사용하는 표현인데요. 도널드 트럼프가 이제 대통령이 되고 나서 더 많이 페이크 뉴스가 많이 양산이 되죠. 그래서 이 페이크 뉴스 같은 경우 바로 뭐냐면 약간 가짜 뉴스, 그죠? 정치와 약간 관련된 그와 같은 상황에서 많이 사용한다고 피로가 말을 하네요. Please remain seated. It's probably just a false alarm. Please remain seated. It's probably just a false alarm. Please remain seated. It's probably just a false alarm. Please remain seated. It's probably just a false alarm. Please remain seated. It's probably just a false alarm. She's not sure. She's going to go to the doctor in the morning. Maybe it's a false alarm. Maybe she's not pregnant. She's not sure. She's going to go to the doctor in the morning. Maybe it's a false alarm. Maybe she's not pregnant. She's not sure. She's going to go to the doctor in the morning. Maybe it's a false alarm. Maybe she's not pregnant. She's not sure. She's going to go to the doctor in the morning. Maybe it's a false alarm. Maybe she's not pregnant. She's not sure. She's gonna go to the doctor in the morning. Maybe it's a false alarm. Maybe she's not pregnant. 자 오늘 표현 false alarm. 자그 거짓된 경보. 약간 실제로 그게 위험한 건 아닌데 그런 경보를 말할 때 사용할 수 있는 표현 false alarm 꼭 기억하시고요. 우리는 그럼 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Bye. Look, do you think? Ouch! <laughs> but I want to tell you that fake news has a real political color to it. You know, the term became popularized during Donald Trump's campaign, and the Korean media also picked it up and started saying, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. But you should not use fake news. Here's what I found on the web. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Google. Whoa, what, what is that? What is that? Uh, uh, Google. Google, like Siri, uh, Siri for Android. Let <laughs> me try that again. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay, Peter, any final words?